What's good everybody, Corbino here, and we got ourselves a Top Tuesdays, and it is going to be Top 5 Geeky Pleasure Movies. Um, I came up this list, I don't know, a long, long time ago, and, cause I don't even remember, someone said like, yeah, it's like your geeky pleasure, and I was like, I kinda like that. I don't know if I've heard it for anywhere else, but I liked when I heard it as geeky pleasure instead of guilty pleasure movie. And so, you know, obviously it'll be movies that are geeky that I have a guilty pleasure for. Now, normally I am down to admit liking any movie. Like, I, I really will. Like, I like Amazing Spider-Man too. Like, most movies I can admit to liking, but these five, plus an honorable mention, are a little bit harder for me to admit when people... You know, if someone's talking about it, it's harder for me to admit it because I'm afraid they'll make fun of me, they'll, it'll start a debate, and I have to come up with reasons why it's a good movie. Um, now the order of this is, has to do with the embarrassment level and my enjoyment level of the movie. So yeah, they sort of merge together here, and let's just get started. Number five is Superman Returns. I mean, people hate this movie. I have only seen the first two original Superman, and then, you know, Man of Steel, like, new stuff, um, but in Superman Returns. I've never seen three and four, and I'm pretty sure that Superman Returns is supposed to be like a loose sequel reboot if the third and fourth didn't happen, so that kind of works for me, but I don't remember 100%. Um, but yeah, I found it to be a good movie. Um, I think I've only seen it twice, and I remember as a kid when it was coming out, I watched it, watched pieces of it on TV, and I remember the Happy Meal toys, there was like a little Superman casing that I had, and I, I enjoyed it. I like his suit, it's played by Brandon Ralph, if I'm pronouncing that right, the Adam in the Arrowverse. He's definitely a better Adam, but he's not a bad Superman either, in my opinion. Um, I think he does Christopher Reeve, like a nice Christopher Reeve type Superman type deal, you know? I, I don't know, I like the movie. I think Kevin Spacey is one of the better Lex Luthers we've had. Um, I don't even remember who played Lois Lane, but I didn't hate her, I didn't love her. Um, but I like the story of, you know, Lois not knowing, you well, not knowing, but not knowing that her kid was Superman's kid. And she was with Cyclops from the X-Men movies, and, uh, I'm trying to figure out how quickly they got together after Superman left for him to actually think that was his kid. Because I was, I mean, I was doubting it from the beginning, but I, I found that cool to have, I don't remember what the kid's name was, I wonder if it was, uh, John or Jonathan or whatever. Huh. Either way, I enjoyed the movie. It's not terrible, not the best. Number four is TMNT 3. Now, I know this movie is garbage. The rest of these movies... Yeah, every movie except for two on this list, I can come up for with reasons why they're good in ways, but th th number four, Team and D3, it's not good. It's not. It just has a lot of funny stuff, and because it's Ninja Turtles, I love it, and I also watched it as a kid, so it's like a nostalgia factor, and I just, I loved, I loved watching that as a kid. Not as much as the first two, but I still enjoyed it. And you get to see the Time Scepter. Yeah, it's not with Renette or, you know, any of that stuff. But still, it was cool. Casey Jones returns, not in the way you want him to, but he returns. Um, the turtles look way goofier. But they just, there's so much funny parts. Like, at the very beginning, they're having a great time dancing. But then they gotta show you that Raph is still an angry guy. So in the middle of dancing, having a blast, Raph just throws aside, like, a speaker or some shit. And gets completely mad. He's like, oh, what are we doing down here? And I'm like, Raph, chill, dude. There was literally no, like, escalation. Like, that escalated quickly. Like, there was just no need for it. But Casey Jones and Splinter babysitting the Asian guys or whatever, Japanese guys, that's funny. And all the freaking, a little off the top, it just, it, it's a, <laughs> the, uh, the Wet Willy guys, they're funny. Oh my, you were expecting maybe the uh, Adams Family? Like, I just, it's just a goofy ass movie, but it's not good. It's not. Is there an action figure that would be there? Um, number three is Spider-Man 3. 
yes, they didn't do Venom justice, but also that's not the director's fault. You know, they forced him to have uh, six Venom in it. I'm pretty sure there was an interview forever ago saying that he didn't want to use any, like, uh, villains that were created after, like, maybe the 80s or something. But anyway, Sandman was amazing. Hands down, amazing. Harry Osborn was, he wasn't a, an amazing Harry Osborn, but you did believe that he was Peter's friend, and there was, you know, the tension and anger in their relationship. Emo Peter is dumb as hell, but it's funny. It's funny as hell to see him going, and the dig on this, you know? Like, it's, it's funny as hell seeing that. Yes, Venom was not very good. I think his look was good. I think it should have been bigger, but yes, Venom still looked pretty good. Um, in ways, he looked better than the new, you know, 2018 Venom, but also not. But, you, you know, Eddie Brock, though, and Topher Grace as Eddie Brock was not a good choice, but just there were still so many good things about the movie. It was still very similar to the originals, and it still hit the same notes, you know, as the originals. A uh, bad guy that um, is good and has a connection to Peter and ultimately kills himself. You got the crappy bullcrap with MJ and Peter breaking up all the time, getting together, etc. Like, you have all that. Yes, it's definitely my least favorite out of the original three, but it's still not that bad, and I can watch it. Two is X-Men Origins Wolverine. I know, I know, I know. Okay, all right, chill, chill. It's not a bad movie. It really isn't. I've thought this for, for probably at least three years now after re-watching it and now I just went back and rewatched all the X-Men movies with my mom and rewatching it again it's still not a bad movie from what I know of Wolverine's origin I think it does it really good I think Lee Schreiber as Sabretooth was amazing yeah he didn't look the part but him and Wolverine you know buttonheads like their relationship yeah they're not brothers but still I thought that was really dope. Like, I really enjoyed it. I thought Deadpool, you know, seeing Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson was amazing. He was goofy. Yeah, he wasn't breaking the fourth wall, but it wasn't his movie to do so. And he was a great Wade Wilson up until they made him Barakapool. But that's okay. Aside from that part, like, he was a great Deadpool already. I thought Stryker was good. Will I Am's character, I didn't, I don't know if that was a real character or not, but he was a nice, you know, addition. Not terrible, not great. Gambit wasn't great, but he wasn't terrible either. I think he probably did a better job than Channing Tatum would have done, but I, I don't know. I think the different Easter eggs and, you know, just different stuff was overall good. Yeah, the Cyclops, Emma Frost, Professor X crap at the end, I wasn't for that. But I think overall it was a good origin story to Wolverine. Okay, now we got an honorable mention, and this is the other movie I was talking about where I can't say that it's good. I just have a weird geeky pleasure for it. Howard the Duck. When I saw Howard the Duck appear at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, at that time, the end credit scenes, from what I could tell, were setting up the next movies. We got Thanos, we got Thor's Hammer, we got the Maximoff twins, you know? And then, we see Howard the Duck. And I remember I was sitting there with a big group of friends, and I was excited. I was like, no, Howard the Duck's the next movie? I was super excited. I'm not even joking. And then I realized, oh, they actually like to just make jokes at the end. And I didn't realize it, but then I was like, oh, wait, shawarma, Bruce Banner therapy. Okay, yeah, they like to make jokes. But Howard the Duck's my dude. The original movie, I thought the puppetry was awesome. Yeah, George Lucas, I don't know what you're doing, pal. But the puppetry was good. The relationship between him and um, Beverly, is that her name? Was odd. You know, the mom from Back to the Future. That was an odd relationship. But all the characters were just damn goofy. And the bad guy reminds me so much of Ares and Wonder Woman. Like... Ares is a good villain, and then when he starts to be, you're realizing, oh shit, you're Ares. He's got that goofy ass mustache, and that just takes away from the evilness, and that's what the bad guy and Howard the Duck did. Anyways, not gonna get too into that, because that's all I'm gonna mention. Number one is Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. I, I really do enjoy the original Fantastic Four movies, and I can watch them over and over. I thought the original four were pretty dang cast. Well, the guys were. Jessica Alba was alright. Nothing to write home about. 
Same with Doctor Doom. Lawrence Fishburne voicing Silver Surfer, that worked really well. Like, I didn't know that's what I wanted, but I enjoyed it. I don't know who did the motion capture, but still, did great. Um, yeah, Galactus, that was some bullcrap. That was bullcrap. But, um, I thought them swapping powers was really cool. Seeing Human Torch as the thing was creepy as hell. Like, Thing as the thing? He looks fine. But Human Torch as the thing, that would make sense why Andrea would leave him, you know? Um, also, he got ears, but the regular thing didn't get ears, so I didn't understand that. Um, seeing Ben go back to normal and then getting fire powers, that was cool. They had to have Jessica Alba, you know, naked, as they always do in these movies. And seeing her on fire is funny. Johnny invisible like it just it was really cool seeing everybody and their powers are getting messed up and the big Ferris wheel thing and like London or whatever was gonna fall over like it was just a cool movie I enjoyed it and I remember when I was a kid because this came out in like 2007 and then Iron Man came out in 2008 I thought the black guy in that movie was Nick Fury kind of racist but I thought it so whoops but yeah, I enjoyed the movie. Lots of jokes. And they're, they're just campy, goofy movies. That's what they are. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good movie. And now I guess these can't really be geeky pleasures anymore because I made a video for the world to see. So I guess these aren't geeky pleasures anymore. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Till next time, let me know what are your geeky pleasure movies. Or do you even have any? Are you... Are you happy to shout to the heavens what movies you enjoy let me know if you are let it you know put it down there till next time stay geek